Oh, my betrothed lies dead before me, but all I can feel is relief. I watched from a dream as a nightmarish reflection of myself committed mad crimes of blood. I killed so many, I threatened my own parents. Righting the wrongs I did here will take years, but thanks to you, I can at least start. I have to repair the damage I've done. The first thing I'll do is order my guards to drive the supernal dreamers from our shore. Then I'll send for my parents. You have more urgent work to do. The Dream Shard must be returned to Abadurak at Pariah Abbey. I sense that Vermina's not yet done with Stormhaven. The Spirit Wardens will need the Shard to oppose her. It's you. As I had foreseen, it is gratifying to have one's foresights proven true. Well done. You should have the honor of returning the Dream Shard to its place on Azura's statue. Please see that it is properly returned. Then we can talk about what comes after. Thank you, mortal. I had my doubts. But it seems the abbot's faith in you was well placed. I will watch you more closely from now on. You have triumphed. The threat of Hosnia Tora's midnight union is quelled. And we can return to watching and warding. Not yet. But you've brought us a great victory. Vermina's immediate threat has been foiled. And now... We'd like you to have this. The other Wardens and I infused our power into a mighty weapon to aid you in your fight. Returning the Dream Shard to its rightful place is no small victory, but Vermina attacks on several fronts. I kept this quiet, but Azura warned me. There is another omen. Yes, Minevia is secure. But Vermina's dark influence now seeps into the eastern region of Gavadan. Azura's shrine there has been desecrated. It's the Supernal Dreamers again. I'm sure of it. I'm glad you're in this with me. We must stop the Dreamers, and if there is another Roman, we must destroy it. I leave now for Shinji's Scarp and Gavadan. I want you there too. But first, I need you to warn High King Emmerich. Is there no hope? Welcome back to Wayrest. It's good to see you again. Do you have any news? To be honest, this whole matter with the Dream Shard has robbed me of a few nights' sleep. I'll be a royal grump if we can't get this matter resolved soon. Well, there we go then. 
That wasn't quite so bad as Abbot Durak made it sound. I'm sure he had his reasons, though. What about the Daedra, the omen that was behind all this? I trust it's dead or gone. In Gavadon? Why couldn't it be in Morrowind or somewhere else across the continent? Gods, we already have enough trouble in Garvedon. General Gardron says the Iron Hand ogres are far from being fully defeated. Well, that's good, at least. You two are the experts, though I suppose that's a dubious honor. If there is an omen in Garvedon, I'm guessing it's similarly disguised. Gardron didn't report anything suspicious, but maybe it's worth asking Captain Ernell. Yes, Ernell was fighting with Gardron, but he's just been reassigned to shore up our defenses here in Wayrest. It may be a wild guar chase, but it's worth asking Ernell if he saw any signs of Daedric influence in Garbadon. I recognize you from the stories. You're the one who helped save Count Atura, aren't you? He's an old friend. I'm glad to make your acquaintance. Don't mind the guillotine. It's just for show. Well, you know as well as anyone else, these supernal dreamers have been trying to recruit people all over Stormhaven. We're hoping this will serve as a deterrent. If we catch a cultist, we'll execute him. Nothing more than that. Sure enough. I was acting liaison to General Godron out at Shinji Scarp, but he's worried that the ogres might break through and attack Wayrest. Godron suggested to the king that I be assigned to organize defenses here, so here I am. Well, not that I know of. General Godron's been losing sleep, worried about the ogres, but other than that, everyone's been sleeping just fine. Or at least as well as you can expect for a war camp. General Godron is acting a little strange, though. It's not my place to question the general. But he does seem to be blowing the ogre threat out of proportion. That's just my two coppers, though. Good luck if you're headed out to Gavadon. I can tell by the look of you, you're traveling around, meeting people, seeing new places. That's the life I'm going back to. This plantation is doomed and my days here are done. It's just been bad luck and lately, pure madness. Last week, the Iron Hand ogres attacked. They broke the levee, pillaged the place. The orcs drove them back, but that was just the beginning. Now bandits are looting everything we have left. That's the thing. It was my adventuring band that founded this plantation. The mage Drodara put up the gold, but we all decided to retire here. Bad idea. I just want to leave now, but the bandits are holding my companions. They need help. What a relief. I wouldn't have been comfortable just abandoning my companions, but if you're going to help them, that frees me up. And let me tell you, it feels good. I'm just not the settling down type. I know that now. Oh, looky here. 
Thanks to you, young one. I will find my own escape now. This is a great area for harvesting. Quite well. Thank you for freeing me, friend. This one thanks you, stranger. Please, come to meet in the storehouse. Rodara's companions, friends, Dungey bandits would have tied them up like this one. You found them, you freed them, yes? Oh, this is good. Relieves Rodara greatly. Many years we traveled together, and many years we worked to make this plantation profitable. Rodara can abandon plantation. Good friends, 
he cannot. So, our sweet Breton sister has departed. So considerate. Bah. Jan always planned to return to the road. This one is not surprised she left. Wish her well. Perhaps this is the way for Drodara also. Why? Is this not what Drodara retired for? Ogres, floods, crocodiles and bandits? So fun. Would you stay? Probably not. Drodara thinks maybe adventuring life is easier after all. Might need help convincing his other friends to leave, though. Ah, this one would be most grateful. After so many years, Drodara just doesn't have the heart to break everyone's dreams. You could talk to Narstig? He'll have better listening if it comes from you anyways. It was a boon from Bandar that you happened along. Was it Jan who asked you to help Drodara and the others? She has shared those feelings many times over the years. After the events of the last few days, Drodara thinks she might be right. Perhaps retirement is just a bad idea. I'll take one if you're buying. Ah, the young adventurer again. You remind me of the old days. So many stories I could tell. But you'll want to be leaving, of course. Well, we might be heading out too. Jan might be right about a curse here. Speaking of Jan, have you seen her? He does? Imagine that. I was trying to think of how to convince him. That settles it then. If we're hitting the road, though, I'll need my old gear. Recovering it will be easier said than done. There is. If I had my armor, my helm, and my axe, I'd do it myself. But that's the thing. When we retired here, I buried all my adventuring gear out by the levee. Would you be willing to go out and get it for me? The more I think about it, the more I wonder why we stayed here this long. A true Nord dies with his axe in hand, not a pitchfork. Besides, this is more swamp now than farm. I spent years building that levee. Damn ogres! That should come in handy. That might be useful.
find you, partner. 